Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome to Timber Falls, home for CNC creators like you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add tabs to your 3D model. I just imported this badge model that I want to add tabs to and cut out. The first thing we're going to need to do is add a border vector around the edge of our 3D model. To do this, we're going to go to Vector Create, and then we're going to go to Relief Boundary Tool. This is going to bring up our Relief Boundary Tool. Basically, what this does is this just creates a vector boundary around any relief that it finds on the zero plane. You can have it automatically create smooth boundaries and you also can designate a start height for the program to look for the relief. But for this we're just going to uncheck both of those. I'm going to press create boundary and that's going to create a boundary around our relief. Now we're going to go to our tool pathing. The first thing we're going to do is do our 3D tool path. We're going to open up our machine relief tool path and we're going to select selected vector. We're selecting this because we only want to use the vector that we have created and carve from everything from that vector inwards. I'm going to pick a finishing bit and we're going to be using the 1 16th skinny jenny and we're also going to be using the quarter inch jenny compression bit for our roughing bit. I really like the quarter inch jenny compression bit. This has kind of been my generic go-to bit for everything. We're going to set this to offset starting on the inside and I'm going to define my material. The model is almost 0.7 inches thick and the material we're going to cut this out in is 3 quarters of an inch. Okay, we calculate that tool path and we've carved our 3D model. Now I wanted you to note that this 3D model did not go over the edges or the outside edge of the 3D model itself and it only carved from the line inwards. So the model is still held in by the material. Let's delete the simulation. So to add the tabs, we're going to go to our profile toolpath, and we're going to use the same vector that we created for the 3D relief. We're going to go outside that selected vector. Now to get really close to the edge of the relief, I'm going to add a negative allowance. I'm putting in a negative 0 0.03, and what this does is this gives us a tighter allowance that cuts close to our model and for my profiling tool we're also going to be using the quarter inch Jenny compression bit. Here's the part where we're going to add our bridges. Now I need to define what size they are. I generally use whatever diameter of the bit I'm using so I'm using a quarter inch Jenny compression bit so I'm going to make my bridges a quarter inch by a quarter inch. Now instead of using the add button to add the number or something like that we're going to click our edit bridges button. What this does is this allows us to manually place our bridges wherever we want them. And so what I'll do is put these in places that are easy to sand. And I believe four bridges will hold it in quite nicely. Then we need to calculate our toolpath. When we simulate all of these toolpaths, we have our 3D relief with bridges. Guys, if these videos are helping, consider subscribing. Give us a thumbs up or comment down below. Those comments let me know that we're doing okay and that y'all are enjoying this content. I'd like to give a big thanks to all of our Timber Falls Elite members. You guys keep the bit spinning and we really appreciate your support. If you're interested in becoming a Timber Falls Elite, check out the link below or our website at timberfalls.us. Thanks, guys.